So first off, let's begin with a little introduction. My responsibilities in this position is that I am in charge of hazardous waste. So hazardous waste meaning like dangerous trash. Dangerous trash, in order to like maintain that and you know make it not so dangerous, we put it into very strong and durable containers. So right now actually I'm placing this camera on top of a 55 gallon steel drum. So you're gonna see that right now. This, this is a 55 gallon steel drum. So I'm not dealing with anything too crazy, like too explosive, too dangerous, and my job is still hazardous because it's you know, dangerous for the environment, dangerous if it touches your skin. It's really just like, imagine motor oil. You don't want that in your food. You don't want that on you know, in water. In the end, it's still dangerous, even though it's not like crazy dangerous that you'd see in like other facilities or movies. Each little building that we look over, they produce some hazardous materials. So motor oil for a shop that you know has all these cars and maybe bleach or soaps or something like that for some other disinfectant or like some laundry shop. These are all technically dangerous if it gets into your skin or to the environment. So whenever a shop accumulates a lot or you know they find some expired products, they call me and say, hey, we have some expired materials, can you just get rid of it? And me being like the responsible person, I would say yes, I would get rid of it, just give me what you have. Sometimes they just give me like the container itself, so it could just be like one gallon of bleach, and that could weigh like maybe five pounds that you'd buy at the store, or they'd give you like, you know, a 55 gallon barrel full of oil. So let's see how heavy some of these things are. For example, I have a scale right here right now. I'm just gonna plug it in. Turn it on. You'll see right now, this thing weighs 488, this is in pounds. So 488 pounds worth of barrel and materials. Now inside that barrel that you just saw, that was the barrel itself, the 55 gallon steel barrel, that alone could weigh like 50 pounds or more. And inside that it is actually not motor oil, it is just alkaline batteries. It is like household or universal waste, electronic waste. Yes, even the dead batteries are considered hazardous waste or, you know, universal waste, this, at least here in California. Technically, we're not allowed to throw it away, but I'm trying to not get too technical here. So in the end, I get like all their hazardous material trash. And inside that barrel, for example, was 400 pounds worth of batteries. So the question is, do I have to carry 400 pounds worth of batteries? Like, do I have to carry all these materials? Do I carry like 500 pounds of batteries and barrel and like put it in a truck? Like, how can I even do that? Like, I'm, look at me. I'm not, like, yeah, I have, you know, something, but it's not anything crazy. I'm not like a bodybuilder. How do I even do that? Like, how do I get it off the scale? How do I even put it in a car, a truck, to deliver it? Big brain here. I don't do it, okay? I don't have to carry 400 pounds worth of stuff. Yes, I'll have to, like, help people move it and, like, move the materials. And, you know, it's a barrel, so it rolls. Or there, are, you know, our machinery that helps lift it up. And, for example, I'm going to show this to you pretty soon. I don't have to physically like lift it up one inch and then move it 10 feet up and like lift it up in the car. There are other people who will help me and there are easier ways to do that rather than just doing like full force, you know, carrying it by yourself. So this thing over here hooks onto the barrel. Let me show you the front. So you will step on this and it will just lift up and then eventually because there's like a little lid on the barrel, it'll hook onto here and just like lift it up. So yeah, not all that hard. You do have to have like some strength, you know, like some things that I'm even sitting on right now. This is a, a bucket of stuff. That doesn't mean you have to be able to like lift 500 pounds, but I should be able to lift this bucket at least. And this bucket has some other batteries and it might weigh uh, 20 pounds, 30 pounds. My back is not dying every single day, and I'm still able to like enjoy life, still move, <laughs> walk freely without pain. And I'm not doing this every single like, day. So sure, yeah, there are some heavy things here. So let's just see. This is like another 55 gallon barrel of antifreeze, like coolant, engine coolant that you'd get in the car. This one, this is pretty full actually. It almost feels like it's like 500 pounds, <laughs> but you again, don't have to like lift it up. Really all I have to do is be able to like move it which I'm actually having a hard time. Yes, yeah, so I can at least move it a few inches. 
I might just need like a running start. But if I'm able just to move it, then that's enough really. Just even some of these boxes, like you don't need to be a weightlifter, you just need to be able to carry some like generic boxes. Again, this is not like a physical fitness uh, type of job. It's just like if you're able to lift some things that are even household goods, and you're, you know, you're qualified. Nothing too crazy. But in the end, it is really specific to your position. So my job, like I'm tasked as this hazardous waste manager. So I'm responsible and expected to take care of all the stuff. That being said, that means you sort of are responsible for that 500 pounds worth of batteries and oil. That doesn't mean you have to be able to carry it all, but you are responsible for it. So you just have to think of some ways or, you know, find some people, find some coworkers, some helpers, some stronger people than you who can help you manage that or lift it when you need to. And I'm not carrying that battery thing every single day. It's just sitting there. And only the day when I need to move it is when I'll reach out to people and say, hey, can you help me move this? Honestly, I do like this job and just taking care of this because even though it could be dangerous because, you know, you're doing this hazardous waste, it's cool because you do still like are on the field. You're not just sitting at, in the office all day. At least you're moving. Yeah, you're you know breaking up a sweat. I am sweating already. <laughs> it's like eight in the morning, but like this is not too difficult, and I'm not like stressing myself out. And only when I want to exert enough energy will I really you know break a sweat. Like, look at this. This is a car battery, lead acid battery. These are heavy. So <laughs> I just think of this as like workout. You know. This is my workout for the day. Lifting this up, this is probably like a good 70 pounds or something. I don't really, I don't have a scale, but I can tell that this is really heavy. I have like six of them just lined up and I had to move that out when they just gave it to me. So maybe they said, hey Randy, here it is. So thanks, uh, I'll just carry it. <laughs> so I carried one by one. So hopefully that helped answer some questions. Again, you don't have to be the strongest person in the world. You're just expected to move some basic, generic household things. Some things can be very heavy, like 500 pounds, but you're not expected to like lift it up. You're just expected to move it, so use your brain here. Other things like the lead acid battery, you know, that could be difficult and heavy for some other people. You know, just carrying one off the ground and putting it in a cart could itself still be difficult. Because, you know, I mean, you can use a cart in the long run, but you still have to put it on the cart. So I don't know if people are able to like deadlift 70 pounds. If you can't, you know, find someone who can. And again, I'm only expected to do this because this is what I was tasked to do. So maybe, you know, if you are ever in this field, you might not be assigned to this, you know, field, managing waste. You might really just be sitting in an office. But if you are somehow managing waste, then maybe they might give it to you because you are more physically adept than someone else. So don't think it's like racist or sexist in any way. It's just, can you do it? All right, that's all I have. I will go back to deadlifting those batteries. You know, this could be like my secret gym too. I can do this whenever I want to. It's part of my job. I have to, you know, lift this battery. So if you ever are surprised that I'm like sweating, then it's just part of my job, you know? Okay, that's all I have. Goodbye.